Hi, Jason. Yes. Gosh, you're so beautiful. And you're... Something wrong? Just not what I expected. I guess I'm shorter than other guys, huh? <laughs> <laughs> not exactly. What's wrong? Jessica didn't exactly tell me about your wheelchair. Oh, this whole thing? It's attached at the hip. You could say that. So, um, can we start over? I'm really happy to be here tonight. Can you uh, remind me what you do again? I'm in sales. That's great, do you like it? I like it almost as much as I like walking. <laughs> know what I mean? Okay, um, tell me about your childhood. It's pretty normal, nothing to write home about. Cool. Uh, hi, can I get you guys anything? How about a date that can walk? <laughs> wow, that's really rude. It's okay, ladies first. Emily, please get whatever you would like. Uh, you better be paying. That was the plan. That being said, I'll have your best steak with a side of the lobster and crab legs. I'll have your filet mignon, medium rare, please. Thanks. No, seriously. What's the deal with the chair? Uh, I mean, this has been my normal for quite some time. It's actually a little tough to okay. talk. Okay, I'm, I'm not a therapist, but how does that feel? Like, what's it like being the only person in this restaurant on wheels? You get used to it. I just couldn't imagine being stuck in that thing. Is there a problem with my chair? It's just different for me. I'm glad to be broadening your mind a little bit. You could say that. So where did you grow up? Just around here, nowhere special at all. Okay, me too. What suburb? Keller. Nice, I grew up 10 minutes from there. Oh, surprised I didn't see you wheeling around the area. I, uh, I didn't go out much. Lots of bullying as a kid. Oh my God, Jack, shut up. Whatever, just put your head down or something. I cannot be seen here with you. Do you know someone here or something? Oh, it's my ex, Teddy. He dumped me. He cannot see me here with you. Oh, this is so embarrassing. I'm supposed to be living my best life, not going on a date with some loser. Wow, that's a little harsh. Oh, just shut up. I think he sees me. Emily? <laughs> God, long time no see. How are you? Teddy, I didn't see you there. I'm amazing. Oh, this is a bit awkward. Are you on a date? No, I wouldn't call this a date at all. No, that's exactly what it is. It's a blind date. I'm Jason. It must be Teddy. Nice to meet you, <laughs> little guy. <laughs> Good luck with this one, man. She can definitely be trouble. Oh, Teddy, listen, this isn't what it seems like, and I can totally explain. I'd never be on a date with this... Loser. All right, yeah. I'm gonna grab my table. Ugh, you! I can't do this. Did I do something or say something? If so, I didn't mean to. I was just trying to be polite. Yes, idiot! God, I have to cut this off short and it's not going anywhere anyway. I'm happy to buy your dinner, chat about life and call it a loss. I can't go on a date with you. I can't even be seen with someone like you. Freak. I'm so sorry to be eavesdropping, but are you okay? That was horrible. I'm all right, thanks. You know, I've seen a lot of Karens working here, but never anyone that crazy. How on earth did you not tell her off? You get used to it. I guess I'll take the bill and the food to go, please. Um, wait. Jason. Jason? Mia, why don't you just stay? It'll be on the house, my treat. Are you sure? Why would you do that? Because you're sweet. Look, I'm actually about to get off. Maybe I could join you if you want some company. I'd love that. So, tell me about yourself. Look, baby cakes, I'm a simple guy. I love to date hot chicks, party with hot chicks, and then sleep. And hopefully it's with some hot chicks. I live every day to the fullest with my frat bros. Oh, you're still in college? Negative, babe. I never went. I was just crashing at my younger broski's frat house. It was so lit. Okay, so you're working then? I'm in between a few things. I was the high school quarterback, so I know I'll land on my feet. <laughs> Look, sweet thing, what do you say you cover me on this one? Uh, no! I'm a traditional woman. I expect the man to pay the full bill or at least split it. I'm not gonna cover you. How about we ask that whisk kid to pay for us? <laughs> Who? Oh my God, what is that loser doing here? What loser? The nerd in the wheelchair. I swear I cannot catch a break. So long to this year being my best. That nerd? You mean Jason Quick? If you call $2 billion in cash a loser, 
then I'll be a loser any day. Two billion what? He's rich? He's a lot richer than me. A homeless beggar is richer than you, pig. Jason, oh my gosh, how have you been? I've been thinking about calling. Do you mind if I sit? Thanks. Look, I've been thinking like a lot and I wanna give us another chance. I mean, you're so sweet and handsome and super successful, I hear. I see, you heard about my money, Emily. I expect nothing less from someone like you. I know I'm different than most other guys out there, but just because a person is in a wheelchair doesn't define them as a person. Me being in this wheelchair has been not only a blessing to my life, but also to my family's. You see, my single mother did everything she could to provide for me and my sister who has a mental disability. She would work multiple jobs a day and night to put food on the table for us and to cover the outrageous medical bills for my sister. One day, not knowing any better, my sister chased a ball into the street without looking both ways. I got to her just in time to save her life, but I wasn't so lucky. The impact from the car crushed my spine and the doctors gave me a 5% chance to live. I consider every day a blessing that I made it out alive. Being in a wheelchair gives you a lot of time in your thoughts. Then I had the idea to start the first app that helps keep track of mentally disabled people. I sold it for billions all in cash. The best part about having money isn't fancy cars, private jets, or big houses. It's being able to take care of my sister and mom. I understand life with a person in a wheelchair is different, but I wouldn't change it for the world. I had no idea. Well, you didn't really seem interested in my story last time, remember? What do you say we start from scratch? Give this thing another shot? Emily, if you can't see past the surface of me, I want nothing to do with you. And I'm actually meeting someone. Oh, there she is. Hi, sweetie. Hi. Emily, this is Mia. Mia, this is Emily. Mia was a waitress at the restaurant that you left me at a few months ago. After you left, we got to talking and realized we had a lot in common and she loves me for all the right reasons. You're not fooling anyone, sweetie. You're obviously just with him for his money. Babe, what money? I said, obviously you're with him for his money. Jason lives with his mom. He works at his church. What are you talking about? Girl, he sold his business for like a billion dollars. He's rich. <laughs> Baby, what's she talking about?